one record. Hello. Hello. All right, I've got some questions for you. Okay, be kind. I oh, will. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. What was your favourite movie when you were a child my age? Oh, blimey. I don't remember that that far. So, 13, 13. To be fair, though, we didn't really... <laughs> We didn't really go to the movies then. So what was my favourite movie? Um, what year was that? 1983. I'm trying to think out what was what was out. Um, I quite liked like all the Disney stuff. So I quite liked um, Jungle Book. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was quite a good one that we was kind of go to. I can't think of anything else. I, I really love the Indiana Jones stuff, but I think that was later on. I don't think that was that early. But yeah, Jungle Book probably. Okay. Bit babyish, but hey. How has Nana and Papa changed since they don't work anymore? <laughs> you really want me to answer that? <laughs> yes. Have they changed? Um, Dad's a, a Papa's certainly a lot more chilled out. I'm not sure Nana is now that Papa's at home all the day. All day. <laughs> um, I don't think. To be fair, though, I don't think they have changed. I think I think they just they just do they are, and 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 that's it. They're just getting a bit older and spending more time together, which is exactly what it's all about. So that's what they should be doing in the retirement, isn't it? And look, then the hair's got greyer, and look, and Papa's lost some of his hair, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gonna love me for that. <laughs> what is one thing Nana and Papa always used to say to you as a child? Um, Nana used to say, wait till your dad gets home. <laughs> and Papa used to go, I'm going to do a quiz. Name the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what is the best gift you've ever received? This is going to sound really corny, but the best gift I've ever received was Millie. Aww. It's true. That's you. <laughs> I would have said you if you were mine, but there you go. <laughs> no, really. Okay. Um, uh, which one's there? How would you like to be remembered? How would I like to be remembered? I'd like to be remembered who were who, as somebody who was always kind, thought of others, put others before herself, and made everybody have a bit of a giggle. Whether that's true or not, who knows, but we'll find <laughs> out eventually. Um, who was your biggest inspiration as a child? My biggest inspiration? Goodness me, on what, on what, on what front? What do you mean? Explain. Like, who did you look up to and think, I want to do that or something? No? Uh, gosh, I don't, oof, blimey, that's a tough one. I mean... <laughs> Well, you kind of say you want to be like your parents, so I'd kind of say Nana and Papa. Um, okay. But, I'm, you know, other than that, I didn't want to be into sports or anything like that. So, you know, there was, there was nothing else there. I'm trying to think. As I was going, I don't think, I, other than, yeah, other than being like your parents, I don't, I don't think there is, there is one, though. Sorry, babe, that's a bit... Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. Um, what is the best trip of your life? Oh, blimey. Really? <laughs> I've got to narrow it down. <laughs> yes. All the 58 countries that I've been to. <laughs> um, my best trip. Oh, gosh, that's really difficult. I would probably say... I'd probably say Australia. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably say Australia. But I've got tons. I mean, I've got tons and tons and tons. But yeah, Australia's probably one of my better ones. Okay. Um, what do you miss most about the old days? Being able to eat what I wanted without putting weight on. Oh, <laughs> Did you know what? I was going to say that? No. <laughs> that's what, no. I mean, that, that's, that's me. What else do I miss about the old days? Um, I actually miss... Uh, I miss, I actually feel sorry that you guys are missing out on some of the freedom that I had. That's, that's, that's one of my things. So it's not necessarily about me, but it's about what you guys are missing out on and the fact that we used to go out and 
play around and make perfume out of rose petals in the gutter and it sounds like we lived terribly but we didn't and it was we had a fabulous time but you you guys don't do that and you never will so that's kind of what I'd wish you were able to do. Okay that's quite good um what comes into your mind when you think of me and Lily? <laughs> <laughs> Bickering. Not wrong. <laughs> no, not wrong, no. No, definitely not. <laughs> um, what is the scariest thing that happened to you as growing, like growing up? Like, the scariest like, thing that's ever happened to me? Mm -hmm. um, I guess there was one thing where I nearly drowned. Really? Yeah, in Tenerife, yeah. Yeah, it was wow. a, at the water park and it was, it's the salt water salt water and it was a water park and they had the big this is why this is now you'll find out why i don't like going to water parks yeah. it was a, one of those rubber donut things and you get into it and then you go into a whirly pool and then they push you down and whirly pool and push you down and i came out of my donut and he I, I got plonked back in the donut and came down backwards so it ended up hitting the water at the bottom backwards went underneath the water and then everybody else was coming down on top of me and i couldn't get out of the water yeah oh my God. it scared me yeah so that's oh, okay. why I don't like going to water parks it's got nothing to do with <laughs> my hair getting wet <laughs> <laughs> um what was one tradition you always used to do as a family oh blimey right well we used to have lots i mean we really did have lots um one tradition we used to have as a family um see so we say lots and now i can't think of any um, Christmas morning was always, we always used to have sausage sandwiches and obviously as we got older, this was by the way, but we used to have sausage sandwiches and we always used to have a cup of tea with a bit of whiskey and which was a, a nod to my granddad Wakeling because that's what he always used to have. Uh, <laughs> so that was always a tradition. Um, we always used to sit down on a Sunday afternoon stroke evening um, and we'd either have a board game at home or Papa would do a quiz for me and Auntie Dawn and we'd always sit there and do it. It would always be like, um, I always remember the, the uh, Cliff Mitchell Moore holiday programme used to be on BBC Two, I think, and then it was followed by the money programme, which you'll never have heard of, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the stuff that we used to do. There was lots, 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 lots more, but there were two that stuck to my head. Okay. Um, what is your favourite thing about being a mum and a stepmom? Uh, my favourite thing about being a mum and a stepmom. Um, gosh, it's lots. But I think it's just the fact that um, it's the uh, unconditional love. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that, it might not be. Um, yeah. No, I just, I, I just love the fact that, you know, um, I've got... You, you guys as, as friends as well as everything else and it's, it's, you're just part of the family and that, I've probably not answered your question at all but it's no it's similar to that but that's sad oh was it oh there yeah. you go oh there you go not even thought about I'm not yeah. even thinking what dad said so yeah so there you go okay what do you remember the most about being a teenager <laughs> wearing terrible clothes and having terrible hair <laughs> And some people would actually say that's not, I've not got any better either. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was, like that was it. Terrible hair and terrible clothes. It was the 80s. So, you know, it was expected, but yeah. Okay. Um, if you think about Auntie Dawn, what's the first thing that comes into your head? <laughs> There's not, a, the first thing that comes into my head is, her, when we were little, this is, her falling over at Dovedale, trying to jump over a puddle and falling over and ended up getting all the bottom wet through and had to come home in the car in just a pants. Larry's <laughs> 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 asking me a quiz. Me? No, me. Mm. Asking me some questions. <laughs> what are you asking me about what do I think about when I think about you and Millie? Really? Um, so yeah, so that's something that I think about when I think about Auntie Dawn, it always sticks in my head, makes me laugh. But otherwise, no, she's my sister and I love her lots. <laughs> okay. What would you like me and Millie to do different to you? 
different to me. Um, not necessarily anything different, but I really like you to do as you're growing up is to go on adventures and just get out and see the world. And how many times have I said this, said this to you? Oh get a job that pays you to travel around the world because it's magnificent. And that was one of the best things that I ever did. Um, because then you've got things in your memories, <clears throat> you've got things that you can share with people. There's things then you can say, right, well, I love this place. Let's go back on holiday. You know, that's what I'd say. Yeah. I'd say don't necessarily do anything different, but, but certainly go out and, and be adventurous and enjoy it. Okay, that's good. Um, what do you remember the most when Millie was born? Um, it was freezing cold. It was minus 15. Was it? Yeah. And I remember... It was. And I remember, actually, this wasn't when she was born. This was while I was in labour. I remember um, sat watching Coronation Street on the telly and it was the one where <laughs> Gail fell into the grave. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that, but I do. <laughs> so yeah, it was minus 15 outside. It was freezing cold. Freezing wow. Cold. Um, what's one thing me and Millie do that makes you laugh? That makes me laugh? Oh, babe, you make me laugh all the time. I mean, we do have some giggles. Um, I love your dances. They make me laugh. <laughs> I love your TikToks. Um, I, all that kind of stuff makes me laugh. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Um, the same, but what makes, like, annoys you that we do? Yeah, where do you want me to start on those ones? Um, uh, if the words, I'm not your slave, come to mind, <laughs> is that, does that kind of sum it up? So, yeah, I hate the fact that neither of you are tidy, and I am. Um, but don't worry, it will come with time. I'll get you there. This is not a table, Millie. <laughs> This is not a table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the last question. What's one piece of advice that you could give to me and Millie for like the rest of our lives? One thing we should listen to and stick by. Be kind. Always, always be kind. I'm always kind. Always be kind. Because you never know what the other person, what's going on with the other person, what's happening to the other person. And plus the fact you never know when they might come back round into your life as well. So always, always be kind. Okay. Well, that's it. You did well. Yay! Have a pass. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, <Wow>. <laughs>